What's going on everyone? So it is All-Star Weekend and we do have the All-Star Game this Sunday. And in that, we are going to see the best players on the planet coming together to duke it out to claim the title. And with that, there is usually a MVP. There's usually somebody that has a great just scoring output and really kind of just sets the tone for the, the matchup, right? And for the game itself. Uh, usually the person that puts up the most points usually ends up getting uh, the MVP as well. So what I wanted to do in this video is kind of stick with the, the, the formula of the All-Star Game and talk about some of the greatest scoring performances ever in All-Star Game history. So without further ado, let's dive right into it. And who better than two legends? Uh, so two guys in Kobe Bryant and Kevin Garnett both scored 37 points. Kobe Bryant did it in 2011. Kevin Garnett did it in 2003. And in 2003, Kevin Garnett led the Western Conference All-Stars to a double overtime victory over the East. And Garnett averaged uh, 37 points in 41 minutes of play. And then in 2011, Kobe Bryant matched that output to claim MVP honors as well, leading the West to a 148-143 victory. Uh, so two guys, historic, legendary players. Uh, some of their just battles and rivalries were fun to watch. But in general, I mean, what scoring list makes sense without Kobe being Bryant, right? Let's be honest. But moving on is two guys that you may recognize, right? Uh, the new leader of the Eastern Conference in Giannis. Uh, he, as well as Kevin Durant, uh, in 2014, Kevin Durant, and then in 2019, Giannis, both put up 38 points, as well as Blake Griffin, a former teammate to Kevin Durant, also put up uh, 38 points in 2014. Uh, so you had... Not only did you have Blake Griffin, but you also had Kevin Durant both put up 38 in the same year, which is pretty incredible. Also, Rick Barry did it in 1967. Uh, he was one of the best scorers ever in the NBA. So Rick Barry makes a lot of sense. He did it uh, back in 1967, where he put up 38 in a West 135-120 victory. And then Kevin Durant and Blake Griffin both scored 38 apiece for the West. Uh, and what's crazy is they still lost. <laughs> yeah, Blake Griffin and Kevin Durant both put up 38 and they lost uh, to the East 163 to 155. And then Giannis did it and he put up 38. However, uh, Team LeBron ended up winning that. Uh, then moving on to Michael Jeffrey Jordan. Um, Come on. You know, many people, you look at him as the GOAT. Uh, that's a debate for another day, but I'd love to hear your thoughts down in the comment section below. But Michael Jordan put up 40 points in 1988 in the All-Star game. Um, so although he had the option to take a back seat in that year's NBA All-Star game festives, uh, his airness delivered one of the best scoring performances in All-Star history. Jordan soared for 40 points in the 1988 All-Star game uh, and led the East to a 138-133 victory over the West. Um, he also got the MVP, uh, which, I mean, it's Michael Jordan, right? That's what's going to end up happening. But uh, again, another great Michael Jordan, many people's eyes, is the GOAT. Uh, you, it would make sense. He would be on this list to some degree uh, and be up there in the upper echelons of the scoring, and that's what Michael Jordan did. It's Michael Jordan. What do you expect? But sticking in the tradition of teams, right, and teammates, uh, Russell Westbrook and Paul George both got 41 points. Russ did it twice. Russ did it in 2015 and 2017. Paul George did it in 2016. No, there's a lot of talk about these two maybe potentially reuniting in uh, Los Angeles with the Clippers. Russell Westbrook's most recent stint with the Los Angeles Lakers didn't go the way that they uh, they had hoped. Uh, but nonetheless, these two guys have some of the greatest scoring performances in uh, just uh, all-star game history. But... Uh, one of his achievements is becoming the only player to produce two 40-point games in the All-Star 
uh, history by scoring 41 in 2015 and 2017, that being Russell Westbrook. Uh, he led the West to victory in both occasions and claimed MVP honors in 2015. Didn't get it in 2017. Uh, and then in between that gap, because, you know, you had Russell Westbrook in 2015, you had Russell Westbrook in 2017, and, of course, Paul George in 2016, he had to go get 40 as well. Uh, so in 2016, Paul George generated the same 41-point output uh, to join only five other players to score at least 40 points in an NBA All-Star game. Uh, and, again, Russell Westbrook uh, led the West to victory that year and claimed his second straight All-Star game MVP. So, again, dude, absolute monster. How do you feel about Russ, man? Uh, he's a legend. He's a Hall of Famer. He is one of the greatest talents the NBA has ever seen. But what scoring list would be a scoring list without Mr. 100, right? Now, however you feel about it, I know there's a lot of rabbit holes going down right now about, like, did he really score 100 points? Did he not? One thing we know for certain is that he did score 42 points in 1962 in the All-Star game. Um, you know, so he is the guy that again Mr. 100 but in 1962 uh Wilt Chamberlain dropped 42 points with 24 rebounds in a 150 to 130 losing effort for the West against the East so put up a monster game didn't lead to didn't really lead to winning um and fell short but still put up 42 points uh and he is third all time in scoring when it comes to the All-Star game with 42 points, uh, that extra point just seems to get it. But you would think, well, okay, 41 points, 40 points, well, Chamberlain, 42 points, so somebody must have scored 42 points. No, uh, the biggest jump after 42 is Mr. Steph Curry. He is number two all-time in a uh, NBA All-Star game. He, in 2022, just... Right, right around the corner, you know? Just seems like yesterday, right? Uh, Mr. Steph Curry put up 50 points. He put up 50 uh, for Team LeBron. Uh, those 50 points were generated by 16 shots beyond the arc, which was enough to set the NBA All-Star Game record. Uh, Curry became only the second player to post a 50-point performance in the NBA uh, All-Star Game. He took home all-Star Game MVP honors, which makes sense, right? I mean, you put up a 50-piece in an All-Star Game, uh, then what do you expect? But, you know, this was also in a winning effort, which also helps, right? You want to put up big numbers, you, you want to walk away with the W, right? And Steph Curry, greatest shooter in NBA history. It makes sense that he'd be the guy that, uh, that would get 50 points. But he isn't the first. And not only is he not the first to get 50, he also isn't number one. He is number two. And number one may surprise some of you. Um, some of you may remember this, but it's a LeBron James teammate in Anthony Davis. Yes, Mr. Anthony Davis back in 2017 put up 52 points. Uh, not only did he put up 52 points, he also grabbed 10 rebounds and won the game for the West. 192 to 182. Um, and he is the all time leading scorer, uh, and for most points, uh, when it comes to all star games, which is incredible in and of itself. 52 points in any game is incredible, let alone an all star game. Him and Steph Curry are the only two players in NBA history with 50 plus points in an all star game. And of course, in 2017, uh, they gave him the MVP. So he even has an all-star game MVP in 2017. But again, it's pretty incredible. Little fun video, little nice scoring output, especially in today's NBA. You know, we're, we're in a, a scoring world. There are the top NBA scorers of all time. I mean, look, there are plenty. Um, I mean, like, look, you got guys that have put up 30, 30 plus 40 plus, um, et cetera. But I figured a nice little starting point was Kobe Bryant and Kevin Garnett. Um, but, I mean, you even had, like, guys like Joel Embiid. Uh, Kevin Durant has a couple 30-plus point scoring efforts. Uh, LeBron James, 
He has a, a 30 plus scoring effort. So you definitely have uh, quite the history. I mean, I could have talked about, you know, numerous players uh, for just countless 30 plus point outing stuff like that. Uh, but this all star game, it's going to be very interesting, right? And they're doing like the draft live for the game. Uh, I'm I'm curious to see. I'm curious to see how uh, how this plays out. Will anybody set the record? Um, no. Do you think anybody will set the record? Is there anybody that comes to mind for you that you can think of that goes like, hey, I could see them scoring, you know, 53 points, something like that. Who do you think will be the leading scorer? Who do you think will be the MVP of the All Star Game? And who do you think will win? All these questions I would love to hear. So let me know down in the comment section below.